this her belly is bigger. She asked me the bones. I told her, she said, ah, the belly is too big, bigger than the mud. Then, uh, you know what? She knew how to do it very well. She said, lie down, come and lie down. I lie down on my bed and she pressed my stomach here. She said, there's a baby here. She pressed again here. She said, there's a baby. She said, she called her junior sister. She said, uh, she called her by her name. Come, come, come. So the junior sister came and she asked her, touch her. She touched. She said, that's the head of a baby. She asked her again, touch here. She touched. She said, that's the, another head of a baby. She <music> afternoon and good evening depending on where you're hearing my voice from this is mama egweji eh? welcome to mama egweji's channel you are all welcome and if you came across my channel you are welcome thank you please subscribe to my youtube channel share comment okay be one of us in the family you are welcome in the name of jesus today's video is a part two of that video i posted two weeks ago the title is how to have twins so if you have not watched it please go and watch it as i'm going hey, today today god will bless someone today god will bless someone today okay after hearing the part two of how to have twins god must surely bless someone today hallelujah if you believe, say hallelujah. Say a bigger hallelujah. I stopped where I said that my sister-in-law uh, came on a weekend. In fact, by then she was alive. She's late now. Eh? May her gentle soul continue to rest in peace. Amen. So she came home and uh, even her junior sister also, two of them, they came home on a weekend. She saw my belly. She said, ah. This her belly is bigger. She asked me the bones. I told her, she said, ah, the belly is too big, bigger than the mud. Then, uh, you know what? She knew how to do it very well. She said, lie down. Come and lie down. I lie down on my bed and she pressed my stomach here. She said, there's a baby here. She pressed again here. She said, there's a baby. She, said, she called her junior sister. She said, uh, she called her by her name come 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 so the junior sister came and she asked her touch her she thought she said that's the head of a baby she asked her again touch here she thought she said that's the another head of a baby she, she's going to have twins that uh the sister said ah okay now we did we did she was happy but in my mind i said wow so i'm having twins in me inside me in my belly this stomach of mine, this small belly of mine can carry two babies. Was that what doctor said and uh, saw? And uh, uh, that doctor saw and said uh, there's something that he said that he doesn't know what it was. And that, you know, got me thinking and thinking and thinking. Not until that day that my sister in law came and confirmed that uh, it, was a, it was twins. You know, I now know that it's twins that I'm carrying. Not that the, this one is a baby and then what is here, according to the doctor that diagnosed me sometime. You know, so now I had a relaxed mind that it is God that we, that God put the twins there and it is him also that will help me to deliver the babies for me. So, in fact, that's how it happened. So I continue to carry the babies. So if you see me that time, anybody that just passed me on the road, we just turn back to see who is this woman carrying this big belly, you know. But God is wonderful, my people. God is very. I was carrying the baby, the twins, so it was not easy. Eh? It was not easy at all. So on the D day. When I was to give birth, you know, I normally give birth uh, after nine months. It will add 10 days. 
How many days does it add for you? Is it on the dot of nine months or after some days? Or some people do give birth uh, two weeks before their date or a week before their date. But me, my own is nine months plus a week. Normally, all my, all my, all my, all my children, I deliver them like that. But to God be the glory. So on that day, on the D day, hmm, I was just cooking you know, in the kitchen. I saw that my body changed after cooking the food. I could not eat. I lose appetite. I said, well, what is wrong with me? I didn't even uh, thought of uh, maybe a uh, flavor, you know, that kind of a thing. No, I thought, oh, I just took it like that. At a time, my body started changing. I started having some, you know, changes in me. I, th I think I have forgotten. Leaving the, the first child by 6 p.m., the, the other one just went inside again. There was nothing like contraction. The baby just went and they relaxed. <laughs> my people, I was there. So, the, my, you know, when you deliver a baby, the, the, what do we call it, placenta, had to fall now it won't fall because if it falls it's problem because there are two babies so they use clip to clip it you know outside my you know v vj they just clipped that uh, placenta there meanwhile the other child was inside though just maybe the baby slept i said let me sleep i beg maybe the other child was disturbing her she just went there and then relaxed I was on that bed there till the next day. So around the, I was on that bed till eleven thirty to twelve. My husband said no. He went to the doctor's house where he lives to call him. Say, see, oh, my wife has delivered one of the babies by six p.m. and up to now it's getting to twelve. The other one is still in the womb. So please come and do something. The doctor followed my husband immediately. All of them came to the labor room. So the doctor had to dilate the baby. You know? Immediately he dilated the baby. Then the contraction started. And I gave birth to the second child. So to God be all the glory. You see? God is always with women. What women pass through. For me to be on that bed just like this. For the whole okay count from 6 p.m 6 p.m 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 seven good hours seven good hours because i delivered that baby by 1 1 30 you know seven good hours plus on labor bed so it is just by the grace of god so women are special gifts from God. Women, God love us. We women to call upon the Lord for our country, for our families, because God hears our prayers. I'm telling you, I don't know how it would have been, you know. He's always with us. Even in time when we lose hope, God is still there for us. So to God be all the glory. Are you pregnant and they have told you this and that? Just believe God that with God all things are possible. With God you deliver your baby safely. Okay? You will be sound, sound in health and your baby will be sound in health. Are you looking for the fruit of the womb? God will surely visit you. God will bless you with your own children. Okay? God will bless you. It has happened to so many people. So your own is not different. God will surely visit you here as he has done it for other women. So just be happy, okay? Only be happy. When you see women with children, be happy with children. Give them gifts. If you have gifts, anything you have, not until when you have millions. No. Like in my own case, I had nothing. I only went and got flowers. Say, I had this belay that I'll be carrying now will be twins, not knowing that even the next month or two months' time that I'll conceive, you know, 
not even conceiving one i conceived two babies which means god had god had what i said and he wrote it there for me and he gave it to me searching my heart the heart from which i go went and cut flowers and decorated where the twins you know start to to, to take their photographs that was it you know so my people only a fool will tell you there is no god there is god don't follow them to say there is no god there is god only believe just believe thank you for watching my people please share and comment okay is there anything you want me to talk about please say it or is there anything you want to ask me about the twin pregnancy please ask me i'll be ready to answer okay until my next video this is mama everybody saying bye my people i love you with the love of god